into his place undertake the love the lord christ presence is revealed in our communion and his living word oh we are many we are one body we who come to share this living bread cup of salvation shared among all nations nourishing us now and ever more. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Good to see you. You're very welcome here tonight as we come to celebrate the mystery of God's love for all of us. We stand on holy ground. And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace and the peace of God, who is Father, the love of Jesus the Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I'm sorry I couldn't invite you to join in singing with me. That's one thing that is dangerous. It's, it's dangerous to sing. It's not a terrible thing to say. That goes against the grain, because we naturally, when we gather, we want to sing. We want to join in. So thank you for not joining in this evening. We gather to celebrate the mystery of God's love, and we're celebrating tonight month's mind from morning heart. Someone who always sang, who always had a song in her heart as a member of our choir here in St. Anne's. So we come to celebrate the gift of life to each one of us, something that we take for granted so very often. And yet God doesn't take us for granted. Let's call to mind our sinful. Lord Jesus, you have the words of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. You are the living bread which has come down from heaven. Christ of mercy. Word of God, food for our souls. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us. And grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast, even now, to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Said, and 
have not asked for your own life for yourself, or riches, or the lives of your enemies, but have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself. Hear and now, I do what you ask. I give you a heart wise and true, as long before you had had, and none will have after you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rest one story and sound. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. My part I have resolved, O oh Lord, is to obey your word. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Lord, how I love your law. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let your love come to me, and I shall live for your law is my delight. Lord, I love your law. That is why I love your commands more than the finest gold. That is why I rule my life by your precepts. I hate false ways. Lord, I love your law. Your will is wonderful indeed. Therefore, I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Lord, I love your law. Every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven 
is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. The Gospel of the Lord. Since the beginning of time, people have been looking for treasure. In bygone days, they, they searched in the fields, they searched in the hills, they searched under the sea. If only they could find this treasure. If only they could find gold in the river, or diamonds in the mountains, or pearls deep in the sea. If only they'd be happy. People are still looking for treasure, but they look in a different way now. They might look in buying a lottery ticket or when they can fly off to Las Vegas and play the, the machines. Yeah. Or they might even play the stock market. If only I could hit the jackpot, sure, all my troubles would be over. Huh. Pandemic, pandemic, yeah. It sees through all that. It's not dependent on the lottery numbers coming up. It's not dependent on winning at the jackpot. Yeah. But in one way or another, we're all treasure hunters because we're all looking for something that will make us completely happy. And that search is on now for a vaccine. The search is on. And during this last week, we've got those words, exciting words, of something is happening in that regard, in that area. If only we had a vaccine, we'd be happy. I wonder, would we? There's nothing wrong with looking for something us completely happy because you know if we were happy then the artist would be doing nothing unemployed if you and I were happy the writers and composers would put down their pens and pencils if you and I were happy the sculptors would get rid of the clay and the molds Christ encourages us to search for happiness. And we hear that in the gospel tonight. Christ loved searchers. He had great sympathy for those who were looking. Even if they were looking in the wrong place and for the wrong things. But he understood that hunger, that thirst. And he was able to point them in the right direction. He compares the kingdom of God to the pearl, that priceless treasure in the field. In other words, the kingdom is worth everything. And those who find it, he says, are truly fortunate. Even if in the eyes of the world they appear to be foolish and to be poor, in the eyes of God, they are rich. They are wise too. And the kingdom of God is that treasure. And it's a very simple concept. It, no, it means knowing that you and I are a child of God. The kingdom of God is about knowing that we are children of the Father with a divine dignity, with an eternal destiny. Yes. The kingdom of God means knowing what the meaning of life is and how we should live it. And Jesus shows us. He walks before us. He keeps us safe. He looks after us and invites us to follow him. And in following him, we are living in that kingdom of dignity and respect for each other and keeping each other safe and protecting each other and having that 
real treasure of God's love within each one of us. Let us profess our shared faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from the light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us, with trust in God's word, let us place our needs before him. Let us pray for all those who follow Christ, that they may never exchange what is lasting, what is priceless, for what is passing and cheap. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Let us pray for all those who would govern us, that they may make wise decisions, that they will always speak the truth and act with justice, respecting the dignity of every man, woman and child. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Let us pray for all those who are sick at home or in hospital, all those who are lonely, afraid and anxious, all those who are going through treatment, awaiting results of tests, or anxious about surgery. Let's ask God's blessing upon them. Lord, hear us. Let's ask God's blessing on all those who care for the sick, whether at home or in hospital, all doctors and nurses and carers, that they be blessed with wonderful compassion, that they will all have gentle hands. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for ourselves gathered here to celebrate this Eucharist tonight, that we may know the will of God and have the strength to live it today. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let us pray for all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, all those who have died recently, especially Arthur Matthews and Father Johnny Fitzpatrick, who died during the week, for all those whose anniversaries occurred this time, especially Maureen Hart, whose month's mind we celebrate here tonight, all those whose anniversaries occur at this time, we pray that they may all enjoy the fullness of life in the kingdom of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let's pray in silence for our own personal family needs now. Lord, give us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom know the difference. We ask all this through Christ our Lord.
Friends, let us pray that our sacrifice this evening may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming and glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and the saints we now praise you. And without end we now acclaim. You are indeed holy lord the find of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We ask that sharing the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Maureen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into your kingdom. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, St. Anne, and all the saints who plead you down the ages, that we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of your Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from everything that is evil. Grant peace in our day. That with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the Christ who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but look on the faith of the church gathered here this evening. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let's turn to each other and, each, and offer each other a smile of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should lend one to my life, but only say the word as thy soul shall be healed. Coming for Holy Communion, we would ask those in the main body of the church to come into the centre aisle and return with the side aisles, and those at the side to come up this, this side and down that way, and these to come up this side and down that way, please. Those who are outside, who are un unable to get into our church, a Eucharistic minister will go to the door of the church to uh, distribute Holy Communion.
my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Let us pray. We have consumed, Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our church is open during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 o'clock until 12 noon each morning and there's mass here 10 o'clock tuesday wednesday and thursday we'll continue to upload our services on the youtube channel so they'll be on the youtube channel an hour an hour and a half after the actual service itself i would ask you to please always check the bulletin on the website for the latest news the latest information there please and uh, the collection, as you know, it's not taken up during our services, but there's a collection box at the exit, and we'll ask you to exit the church, leave by the side doors, please, and you're, you can sanitize your hands and, and be socially distant as you leave, but there's a collection box at the exit for your generous donations as well. A big thank you to all our stewards and all our cleaners who make this possible. Without our stewards and our cleaners, we wouldn't be able to gather here in public, so a big thank you to all those who volunteer give of their time to make this possible this evening and tomorrow and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday during the week as well. Big thank you to Janet for helping us to celebrate. Thank you, Janet. The Lord be with you all. May Almighty God bless and protect you tonight and keep you safe. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Give 